Um, <clears throat> so I just want to do a very quick video on my open pilot setup in my new Bronco. I just want to show you something. Traffic's resuming and I am not doing anything. Uh, with this build, you do have to steer somewhat. It's not full open pilot at all. It is like a sort of early stage lane centering. Um, kind of reminds me of like the older Mercedes systems. Um, but it has given me the ability to, it automatically resumes from a stop. Um, and on straight roads, it's pretty much hands-free driving. Um, so you can ignore the cables. Obviously, I'm going to hide those, but I'm just doing this for testing purposes. Um, but as I've since I made that initial turn, um, McBadass is going to go flying by us, even though the rate of traffic is about 35 miles an hour. Uh, since I made that initial turn, uh, I haven't touched the steering wheel, though this is a relatively straight road. Um, the one thing it still does is like, the resuming from slowing down. See, all right, you can see it's telling me to take control because the turn it exceeds what it's capable of doing. I mean, it's a pretty sharp turn. Um, but what I'm going to do is drive to the highway and show you how that goes. So it's probably going to yell at me on this turn. No, it's not yelling at me, but it is falling out of the lane. Um, again, pretty sharp turn. But, all right, so now I'm, it's inching forward. Um, I've got my comma mounted up here. Kind of behind-ish the windshield, um, the rear view mirror, rather. You don't actually really need to be able to see the comma on a constant basis. I'm kind of sitting up here, so that's kind of my view of it. I mean, the one annoying thing with the Bronco in general is how slowly it resumes from a stop. That's not, that's not the comma. That is Bronco's adaptive cruise control. Um, and I have it four scan coded <clears throat> to do adaptive cruise control stop and go. So that is the Broncos ACC stop and go. It is not the comma. The comma's got nothing to do with that. It just uses the car's built-in longitudinal control. But, all right, so I'm going to hop on the highway here. Uh, and I'm actually going to cancel open pilot uh, because a couple big, big turns... test for how this makes driving so much easier and so let's get in the left lane here set up open pilot all right so I just all I did is I turned on the cruise control set it to 60 with open pilot um, enabled it automatically enables lane centering corner or whatever you want to call it, lane keep it's using the lane keep system um, doing this button doesn't do anything anymore. It's lane keep is always on because it's being leveraged by open pilot. Um, but so now I'm, I'm totally hands off. I'm not touching the foot. I mean the, the brake, I'm not touching the gas. Um, I am completely hands off. It's like going 17 ish miles an hour. It's floating over to the left land. Yeah, see, so this build has like a, the guy who built it um, said that there's something like a seven second timeout on cor on curves. So if you go around a curve that's like seven seconds, uh, it's gonna lose its ability to send steering commands. Um, hence why I had to steer there because I was going around that curve for a little bit longer. And I think what he was saying is the timeout can build up uh, after multiple curves. So if like you go around one curve that's that's three seconds, and then you go to, around another one that's four, four, like say seven seconds or whatever, six seconds, five seconds, whatever, um, it's going to exceed the timeout and it's not going to be able to steer. But interestingly enough, this is a relatively long corner here. Um, and it's steering pretty much fine. I mean, 
mean, I have not, I'm really, every time I touch the steering wheel, I'm panning down so you guys can see that I've touched it. I just touched it there to increase the speed. Um, but let's see here. So I'm cruising along now. I got that traffic to look forward to coming back. The sacrifices I make for the Bronco community. Um, but I'm cruising along hands-free now. Totally hands-free. Here comes a turn up here. Let's see what happens. Uh, it looks like it's... I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, it's open pilot. I was floating out because it's one of these weird splitty lanes. But it seems to have figured it out. I, I barely... I put my hands on the wheel just to be safe. But I'm not giving any input. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's my quote unquote quick video on it. I, again, I'm hands free. I'm not touching anything with the brake when cars come to a stop. Usually I'll give a little bit of accelerator input because the Bronco resumes from a stop so slowly. Um, but this for like long highway hauls or just long straight roads is just leagues and leagues better than what the Bronco comes with from the factory. Um, it is what I would equate to like a really early stage lane centering system rather than um, just lane keep, which is really annoying and borderline useless, honestly. I mean, here's a, this is kind of weird because it's, it's another, I'll, I, I literally just installed this, so I'm still learning the quirks, but that was a really subtle corner, but it was pretty long. And it, um, it handled it the whole way. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this sort of progresses. But um, that's it. So for anybody wondering, I bought the Ford Q3 harness. Uh, it plugs in here at the back of the camera. The camera cover is super easy to get, get to. So it's a quick pry bar. I'm going to actually see. Let's see if Open Pilot wants to change lanes for me. So I'm hands off. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the lane centering is not, it's not perfect. It's definitely hugging the right lane a little bit more than I would like. But it's pretty damn good. Um, all right, so Ford Q3 harness. Uh, and that's it. I mean, an Open Pilot 3X. And, oh, I mounted it very high, and I also had to buy two of the 8-degree mounts. Um, one was not enough. What I did is I ground down the second one. Uh, made it flat and then I stacked it on top of the first one to make it um, even a sharper degree angle. I don't know if it's 16 overall or what, but um, and that was enough to get the comma a good view of the of the road. Uh, with the initial, with just one, it just was, wasn't working at all. It, um, it was basically aimed at the hood. So uh, that's that. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I would suggest if you have any questions, I mean, feel free to ask me. I don't really know much of anything about this build, but you can hop on the Open Pilot Discord uh, and go to the Ford channel. Um, and there is a person there. Just search for Bronco. You'll see results on uh, the progress of this build. All right.